Hello and good morning. It's July the 12th and today we're going to be in 1 Kings chapter 13 and 14. And in this chapter you see what happens to Israel as the line of David continues to progress. You see that the line of David starts off sometimes good and then they kind of start to do more and more not so smart things. You see Solomon start off as a good king and then you see him slowly become a king that isn't really chasing after God anymore. And it continues that way through the family line. Because in chapter 13, you see one of the new kings who starts off as a good king. He followed God. He did what he was supposed to do. But he starts slowly becoming more paranoid and starts not following what God desires as he starts um, continuing to do things that are evil in the eyes of the Lord. And when he does that, it just ends up poorly for himself and the nation and all of the Israelite people. And it makes me stop and think, man, how many times have I done that in my own life? How many times have I done the same thing where I start off strong, where I start following God super well, doing all the things that I know God has called me to do. And then something happens to where I get paranoid to where, oh, I bet you um, people don't at my work don't like talking to me anymore because they think I'm just that Jesus guy who's going to um, shove religion in their face constantly or oh I bet you um, this is or this is going on and I just lose focus on what God actually wants and so I stop following him as closely and I'm sure some of you guys have probably felt the same too you have all probably been in my shoes before of you are following God doing what you are called to do and then you get to a point where you are no longer doing just that and it's a rough place to be in, to be in a place where you are no longer with God. You are no longer um, following what he has called you to do. And you just kind of wake up one day and go, man, what's happened in my life? But here's the cool thing, though. Just like many of the kings that you will see throughout the rest of the book of Kings, lots of them have um, did have changes of hearts and they did start following God in the way that they were um, called to do and you see the nation be changed you see their hearts be changed by the love of God and the fact that God wants that relationship with us so if you are in that point in your life where you feel like you have wandered you have stumbled you have fallen a bit that's okay God still loves you he still wants that relationship with you and it's not too late to repent to do a 100 and 80 about face and turn around and start moving in a new direction back towards God. Because there will all, we will all have times in our life where we will hit that, just like the kings did. But we can still turn around and repent and come back to God. So as you get, go throughout your week, if you feel discouraged, if you're feeling like you have put other things above God, like one of the kings of Israel, don't worry about it. Just... Stop what you're doing, which is easier said than done. Do an about face and start moving towards God again. Until next time, church, you are sent.